My guest now is Roger Dykeman. Roger is with Bendix King, a storied company. <laughs> it Bendix is a King. Company. You know, when I was looking before we came out here, and I was looking through some of your information about the history of the company and mm -hmm. how it's been around since literally since 1900. 1959 the, is yeah. Bendix King. It was Bendix King actually King Radio? Mm -hmm. 1959. But Bendix has yeah. been around yeah, for, for forever. forever. Yeah. And so you've got a long, long history uh, in, in this business. And you've always kind of been out of the cutting edge of things. And when the, the, a lot of the very first things that, that happened came out of King Radio and, and the Bendix company. And so we're really happy to start talking with you now about your ADSB product because it is one of those products that, that looks like it's going to really have a lot of benefit for, um, for the pilot community as we approach the 2020 deadline. Talk to us about your, your ADSB. All right, I talk, we have a couple of ADSB products. Right. Uh, one is the KL, KGX series of products, and the other is our KT74 ADSB uh, transponder. Very different solutions um, for the same purpose, ADSB compliance, um, but with a flexible amount of opportunity. You can be ADSB compliant and get all the UAT benefits using the KGX series, or you can be strictly compliant using the KT74 ADSB transponder. Um, the great thing about the, I'll talk about the 74 first. Okay. All right. The, the KT74 uh, is a, is a slide-in replacement for our KT76A, KT76C, KT76, KT78 transponders. Um, and by slide-in, li you literally take out one of those transponders and you can slide in the 74 and it will work as a mode S transponder. Mm -hmm. Right. If you want to be ADSB compliant, obviously you have to add a GPS um, source to that. Uh, and there's a variety of GPS sources we're compatible with. And all you have to do all is add a wire to the back of that existing tray into that um, unit, and you can be ADSB compliant uh, with that GPS source. And we work with uh, um, a lot of our competitors' products relative to GPS position sources, as well as our KSN 770 and our KGX series of products all provide GPS position to the KT74. So it's a very economical way to get into ADSB using the KT74 because you can, if your transponder fails, we have 120,000 um, KT70 series transponders in the market. Mm -hmm. um, they've been in the market for 30 years, maybe 40 years. Some of these things have, have been in the, long in the tooth. And as those things, um, in the unlikely event that they fail, because right. they're a great product, they great product, uh, the 74 is, a, is just a no-brainer replacement for it because it slides right in. You don't have to do the ADSB right now. You can do it right. at some point in time when you're ready, but now you've got a transponder that's compatible. And, so it's a great value proposition for a guy who has a bad transponder and wants to get a new one, right. but he doesn't. But he knows this thing is out there, and so he puts the 74 in, and he's got that piece taken care of. Uh, so, and we also have a great trade-in program mm -hmm. for the 76A, 76C, 78. Um, you get a great value depending on its condition, a great value for those products. So it really makes the 74 uh, a, a really great proposition for for ADSB compliance. Okay. Right. So it's an ADSB out. So if you want to be um, ADSB compliant, but you want to get the benefit of the weather and the traffic that comes right. along with UAT, then we have our KGX series of products. We have a variety of solutions. Um, the, the ADSB story, as you know, is a complicated one. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of solutions. There's a lot of, of ways to get there. But we do try to make it simple. We try to make that complex situation very simple. We have four different products, um, two with GPS, two without GPS. The, the without GPS is obviously if you have a compatible GPS source in the airplane, mm -hmm. uh, some of our competitors' products, again, some of our products, um, then you need, don't need to buy the product, the KGX, with GPS. You buy it without. Save a little bit of money, right. um, and you still get the benefit of ADSB compliance. And in fact, one of those products, um, if you just want weather uh, and traffic, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a receive only. If you're already compliant using a 74 or some other device, then you, just, you need the weather and traffic in an installed solution. That's our, that's our lowest uh, cost uh, opportunity. And then you have um, the next one up is a transceiver, ADSB compliant um, with no GPS. You can use an existing GPS source. And then you have the next one up with GPS and same kind of story. GP, with GPS, just receive only, with right. GPS and transmit. So four different solutions in the KGX series. What was the, the thinking that behind making all those different solutions because a lot of the companies that we're talking to here have one you know, good solution, but it's one solution. You're giving people kind of a lot more options. What was the thinking behind that? Well, flexibility. Flexibility about what you want to spend. Because with those solutions, we have a, a variety of economic solutions, a very valuable, uh, very good value proposition for each of those solutions. Mm -hmm. um, so more flexibility about how much you want to spend. 
because uh, it, it's it, the more you have in the box, the more it costs. So we have we have very different price points mm -hmm. uh, for our solutions. Let's talk about before we move on to a couple of other things. Sure. But let's talk about the the whole situation with the mandate a little bit because right. we're talking to a lot of people who are who are saying that. Yes, it, it, it seems like it's still a long way out there in the future, and yet we learned this morning it's 1150 days. Or right, something, that's right. Which is not, that doesn't sound like a lot of time. So what is your education process with the, the pilot community to say, this is out there if you want to continue flying after December 31st, 2019 in controlled airspace, you have to have it, and here are some solutions. Talk about your education process. Well, one of the things that we, we do try to, to let our customers know is that I think a lot of them are waiting for that cheaper solution, mm -hmm. you know, waiting for that price to go down. Um, what, in my opinion, is uh, the longer folks wait, the, the, the boxes may get cheaper, but now shops may charge more money, mm -hmm. right? Because now it's a priority, and now you, you might have to pay a little bit of a premium to get it installed. So are you really going to save money in the aggregate if you wait till the end? Mm -hmm. Because now they know you have to get it done, and now they may be able to charge you a little bit more to put it in. Now, our dealers aren't telling us that. That's right. just Roger Dyckman's opinion. So, um, But it's standard supply and demand. It is. It is. Absolutely. It's, kind of, it's just economics, right? So th that's, that's our story of why you should comply um, early and often um, with the system. And that's one of the reasons, that, for instance, the KT-74 is a great solution. Mm -hmm. You can get halfway there because you may have to because of a transformer fail, and then you can do the rest later. And it's, the work is a little bit less, and it's a much more straightforward um, install. How are you finding folks when they talk about what they get in the cockpit? I mean, and, and I've talked about this with a couple of guests today, is that when I, when I was flying regularly, storm scope was the big thing. Um, and then when I came back and I started to fly some of these more modern products, and, and you have all of this wonderful information in your cockpit, now granted all that's subscription, with a lot of these, it's going to come into your cockpit for the price of having bought the box. But how do you how do you see pilots react when for the first time they sit down in a cockpit and they see, wow, I have all of this that's available to me and how much safer is my flying going to be? How do we how do we educate them? Yeah. Around? Well, <laughs> it's interesting. We the, the situations we've had is it's it's a it, the process is an interesting one because they educate them and it scares them because you, you put them into an airplane where they've never had traffic before and now you've got all this ADSB traffic around them and they're like, I had no idea all this stuff was here. And that's, that's, so that's the first step of, holy cow, look at all that stuff. Then they never want to be without it. Mm -hmm. Once they see all of that, that information and all those targets around them, they never want to go without it. It's, it's a very compelling solution, a very compelling story. You know, especially in air, airspaces, uh, mm -hmm. east, west coast, or, or busy airports, you don't see those airplanes around because mm -hmm. they're just too hard to pick up. But when you get it on, when you get it on the box, um, you, you really, really don't want to be without it. Now, on the... Um on the KGX-150, it looks like, is that, a, is that an iPad display that you have on, on this product? Is that? Well, it, it comes, it is available with a Wi-Fi mm -hmm. um, device, so it will display on an iPad using um, Wing X, um, Free Flight has an app that mm -hmm. uh, also displays the weather, and we're working with other EFB suppliers to be compatible with them. Now, uh, the, one of the other things that you've got over at the booth during the show is maybe more for the folks in the back of the airplane, uh, because more and more people want to have their iPads, their smartphones, yes. even their laptops, uh, particularly for the business uh, pilot or the, or the person who's flying for business, they've got to be able to stay connected. And Bendix King is, has a couple of nice products along those lines as well. Yeah, we introduced um, at AEA last year, one year ago today, um, the AeroWave uh, mm -hmm. 110 system. And we've been continuing to build on that system. It's been, a, it's been a very good success for us. The folks really like having that, that ability to um, stay connected in the airplane. I mean, it's not for the kids streaming movies in the back. It's inter, uh, limited internet connection, you know, voice uh, via um, voice over IP, mm -hmm. um, text, email. Perfectly good for that. Does a great job of that. Um, and, and we have some evolutions of that, that system coming in the very, very near term. Uh, more so around installation, the speeds are going to stay the same. We also have a very compelling, um, relative to, to other folks out there, a very compelling data plan. Mm -hmm. um, the, the price points of that are, are just different than anybody else is doing. Most the, the way we approach the, the data plans um, is by the hour, not by the not by the megabit, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't get this crazy bill at the end of the month because somebody downloaded, you know, a 48 meg app. 
right. and he had no idea. Uh, we, we charge by the hour, a little more, more like the cell phone plans. Mm -hmm. So you know how much you're going to pay, and at the end of those, at the end of your hours, we don't keep charging you. We let you know, hey, you need to, you need to buy more hours. Right. Um, so it's, it's not an automatic bill. Um, it's, it's something to make it a little more affordable for the market space that we're targeting. Um, the install price of the system is, is very affordable. List price, $20,000 for, for the system, mm -hmm. um, plus installation kit. And there's some variability around the installation kit, so yeah. we don't include that in the price. Um, but it's very affordable install-wise, and the, the utilization rates uh, very affordable as well. $40 a megabit, $40 an hour, excuse me, $40 an hour. <laughs> what was the, the thinking behind going for the, the basically text and data as opposed to being able to stream movies? It's, it's strictly the, the bandwidth that is available mm -hmm. uh, with the system. It's just not enough bandwidth to, to stream a movie. Um, nobody else would be able to do anything in that, in that system, right. and it would just take too long. It's, it's not a full up uh, large bandwidth system. Mm -hmm. you know, it's got, it's got a somewhat, that's how we get the, the price down on both the hardware mm -hmm. and the data plan, is we, we um, limit the speed. And that speed limitation just doesn't allow that kind of streaming to happen. Right. It's, just, it's just too painful to do, it's too slow, and so we actually restrict it. Because mm -hmm. um, if somebody accidentally does it, um, they won't be happy with the performance, and then we get a phone call. So we, yeah. just, we just say, you know, just don't do it, and we, won't let you, we don't let you FaceTime, we don't let you do uh, Netflix, and mm -hmm. things like that. But if somebody needs to go up on the cloud and pull down a spreadsheet and, and right. work on it, it's perfect. Or, yeah. or you want to call your wife or text mm -hmm. her that, you know, hey, I'm, I'm almost home, or, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I'm, I'm diverting here because of weather. You can send that text message uh, to your family or friends or wherever mm -hmm. you need to, um, so you can stay connected in a very, in a, in a very simple way. Let's go back to the ADSB product because it just occurred to me that I didn't ask you a uh, about price points sure. and about the installation as well and, and on the ground time for the airplane. Well, and that varies depending on, because what we see more often than not is people are not doing just an ADSB install. Mm -hmm. They go in, they have something else going on, a, a you know, hundred hour or a hundred hour inspection or an annual or mm -hmm. something's going on in the airplane and they're going to get an avionics package installed and they do this as a part of it. Um, but we expect if you did just a just a KGX install, mm -hmm. uh, and you do have to add an antenna because it has well with the one that GPS you have to add a GPS antenna. Right. Um, you usually don't have you don't always have to add um, the UAT antenna because it's mm -hmm. a, it's a so it's a frequency of you know, DMEs and transponders. So there's there's ways to, to not necessarily add the antenna that way, but you have to add the GPS antenna. Um, we expect it to be in the neighborhood of 20 hours or less to do that okay. kind of install. Um, but again, that's that's up to the dealer. That's just a, the manufacturer's right. estimate, <laughs> uh, to be clear. Um, and so we start at um, just around two thousand dollars for the base unit, and we mm -hmm. go fully optioned. Uh, the you know the KGX 150T uh, list for list for just over uh, forty five hundred dollars, I believe, and that including including antenna. It's about almost five if you include the GPS antennas, mm -hmm. the L band antennas, um, the Wi Fi adapter, uh, and the installation kits. And, and again, we talked this morning, or we heard this morning from Paula and uh, and Pete Bunce of Gamma that when you look at that at that cost compared to what it was when they first came out with the Mode C transponders as a percentage of the cost of the airplane, it's really not that much more expensive than really than that transition was back in the day. Right, and you get a lot more out of it. Right, then you just you were just able to continue to fly, mm -hmm. but with the UAT, you actually and that, that was the FAA's plan for mm -hmm. the UAT was to provide a compelling reason to equip. Now you've got one more product that I don't have a brochure for here, right. uh, but it's it's kind of a all the bells and whistles front office um, it is. G whiz thing in the cockpit, so tell us about that a little bit. We've got sure. about five minutes to go. Okay, so. <laughs> all, right. all right, great. Um, that would be our KSN 770, and it's, um, I wouldn't say little brother, but it's stepbrother KSN 765. Uh -huh. 770 is the full up GPS WAS, NAVCOM, MFD, kitchen sink kind of uh, Device. Mm -hmm. List price thirteen thousand uh, dollars for that product, uh, including antennas, install kits, all the things that make it go into an airplane. The seven sixty five list for twelve thousand dollars. It is without the Navcom, so it's a mm -hmm. GPS, WAS, MFD device, no Navcom. So those are the two two products in that family, uh, and it, it's as, as an MFD, it's compatible with a variety of traffic systems. Um, Active, uh, active weather systems, mm -hmm. RDR 2000s, RDR 2100s, RDS 81s, 82s, 84s, 86s. Mm -hmm. uh, so a variety of weather radars, uh, depending on the aircraft it goes into. Um, it, it's, again, 
storm scope, your storm scope, <laughs> it'll display the storm scope, people still right. love their storm scopes. Right. Um, XM weather, you know, all the things you would expect um, out of a GPS NAVCOM mm -hmm. uh, in today's environment. It's also, uh, it's a hybrid user interface. It's one of the unique things about the KSN 770. It, it is a combination of both touch screen and, and hardcore bezel, bezel buttons. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can do almost 100% of everything on the box, either with a touch screen or using the, the, the knobs and buttons around the bezel. Uh, and so you actually get pretty good at, at what, what the, of optimizing the way you want to use it, right? Because you know, every, it seems that everybody learns it a little bit differently and optimizes it uh, in their own way. So it's a very flexible uh, user interface. Are you, I'm going to go back to the ADSB for just a sure. moment because this is this is what we're all talking about at this show, and, and I'll wrap up with this. Are you optimistic about getting the fleet compliant? across the board by the, the time the, the mandate comes around? So again, Roger Ackman's opinion. Okay. Right, so um, I am, because uh, I'm an optimistic guy. I, I think that you know, there's there's the naysayers that say, you know, everybody's gonna, you know, all these guys are gonna ground their airplanes and never gonna fly again. People that have airplanes and fly, they love to fly. Mm -hmm. And you know, there we, we, we have very affordable solutions to get this done, so I have a very high confidence that there, there will be a lot of people still flying um, after 2020, flying in those airplanes. Roger, thank you very much for taking some time to talk with us Absolutely. today. It's always a pleasure and great to see you. Great to see you, Tom. Thank you very much. Aero News Network's coverage of the 58th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Dallas, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Avidyne provides innovative avionics solutions for general aviation aircraft including the IFD-540 and IFD-440 FMS GPS NAVCOMs with Geofill, Hybrid Touch, and full ADS-B capability. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, NAVCOM, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Heli says from Genesis Aero Systems is the FAA certified cost effective and reliable stability augmentation system and two axis autopilot for light to medium helicopters. Heli says offers significant safety enhancing benefits and still weighs less than 12 pounds. Visit www.genesis-aerosystems.com. An interactive links application is available in the Apple and Android app stores. This free app is a virtual simulation of the Lynx NGT9000 touchscreen cockpit display that lets pilots interact with the unit as if they had a real system in their hands. The app covers the entire Lynx family of ADS-B products, including features and options to help customers decide which Lynx model is right for their needs. Meet SAM, the new 2-inch standby attitude module from Mid-Continent Instruments and Avionics. SAM's unique two-screen display features high-definition graphics and extra-wide viewing angles. Get to know SAM today. Visit FlySAM.com. NAVWORKS makes ADS-B affordable. Certified or experimental, NAVWORKS gives you high-quality next-gen avionics solutions that dramatically increase your situational awareness. Check us out now on the web at www.navworks.com. The debate is no longer about upgrading GA aircraft with next-gen, it's about financing it. The next-gen GA fund is about doing just that. Find out more at www.nextgenfund.com.